Hello everyone, BJ in the house. Time for another review. Uh, before I get on with it, just wanted to let you all know that I am at almost 1500 videos. The 1500th video will be coming in a few days. It's going to be a big collab unboxing video that Magical Zach is putting together. Check out his channel. That will feature all your unboxing videos of packages that I sent you for prizes, for contests and giveaways and trades and stuff like that and generosity. <laughs> Just pure generosity because I do that too sometimes. And sponsorships and stuff like that. Uh, it won't feature everyone because some people are no longer around or they deleted their videos. But there's going to be tons of them anyways. Anyways, let's get on with this deck. This is the Gypsy Witch deck. It says Gypsy Witch on top, fortune telling playing cards. And the bottom it says, with instructions. Yay. And then, you see a witch, way in black, big surprise. And she's poking at a fire, where she's got a pot boiling. And you can see the smoke coming from it. And there's even a black cat staring at her ass. <laughs> Just thought that was funny. Tipsy Witch, Fortune Time Playing Cards on one side. Focus. There we go. The other side. U.S. Playing Card Company, Cincinnati, Ohio, made in the USA. They don't make these anymore, as far as I know. Tipsy Witch, Fortune Time Playing Cards on top. And in the bottom, Tipsy Witch, 62. I guess that's like, you know, 808. This is 62. And then there's a barcode. And the back shows you one of the cards. Weird. <laughs> And there's no seal. That's big flap. And inside, there's the instructions how to tell fortunes. I haven't even looked at them. You do get an ad card. Poker is the name of the game. Two bucks. Pretty good price. It's probably 20 bucks by now. And then, rules of bridge and other card games and solitaire. 150 ways to play solitaire. Does anyone want 150 ways to play solitaire? <laughs> Give me a break. So, the back design is this, I'm sure you've seen these before, images at least somewhere. I have a rainbow deck that has this back design in it, and it's just like the front of the box, aside from it's a different color, purple instead of orange, and there's actually a full moon, and there's some kind of a glow as well. It's pretty cool. The cards, well there's a code card for you. All the cards feature what looks like basically a mini card that's basically the size of a mini card. In the one corner, there's a number, like number 15, number 5, in the other corner. And various information saying. And then there's a picture on the bottom, and there's information regarding that picture here. Like this one says, This letter is a sign of good tidings when near and when touching. Indicates. Unexpected good fortune. Ooh, unexpected good fortune coming my way. And it's, you know, fairly standard court card. Not your standard USB-C court card, but similar. Pips, again, a little bit different on your number cards. Again, this one says number five. It says, the tree. Good health, near flowers, fulfillment of highest hopes. I'm not going to go through them all, but they all got different pictures, different meanings, different numbers. Ooh, look at that. It's an eyeball. A lion. A ring. Just all sorts of stuff. I'm not going to go through them all, though. Everyone has a different number. That one actually has a heart. <laughs> well, figure. And it's not a heart. Whoops. The Ace of Spades. That's a really nice spade bit. It's pretty interesting. Uh, there is this ribbon here on the bottom that says nothing on it. And it doesn't say anything on it, but it's a, a nice spade pip with lots of details on it. And a cupid. I think it's a cupid. About to shoot an arrow. And you can see what it says on there. As well, a little bit. Jokers. Pretty simple. It just says joker in the corner. And Joker in the middle this way. This way it actually looks like an aspirin to me. Except it says Joker instead of Bayer. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. The other Joker, 
It's just an extra joker, kind of boring. A couple of stars in the corner, it says extra joker. And that's what you get, you know. There's not a whole lot. I mean, there's lots of stuff going on there. If you want me to try to read your fortune, <laughs> send me a message. We'll see. I don't know. I have no idea how this deck works. I barely looked at it. But it's pretty cool. It does have a smooth finish or a plastic coated finish on it. It's uh, pretty much a place called stock. Kind of thick actually. And it does not fan that well as you can see. It's not new. I mean, it was new sealed. Brand new sealed when I got it. But obviously it's a good... I don't know. 10, 15, 20 years maybe. Of course the back design is a one way design. You're not going to use this deck to play poker or any card game for that matter and you're probably not going to use it for a magic trick unless it, you know, is a fortune telling type trick. But it is cool. It is different. It's cool. I like it. I'm really into decks that are unique and different for one reason or another and that's why I got this one plus I thought it's pretty collectible cool vintage to some extent doesn't even spread that well but oh well that's what you get that's the gypsy woods deck and what should I would do next let's see what I got Yeah. And these are all the decks that I got this week. The bicycle and tall stacks, 95. Flipped it around, but it looks the same anyways. <laughs> that was accidental anyway. We got the red tune. And we got the rounders, or the browners as some people are calling them. <laughs> Brown rounders, browners. I already know you guys are going to want to see the rounders. So that's coming tomorrow. The other ones, I don't know. If you want to see them, let me know. That's what I got. I'll see you next time.